jealous killers. They can be members of our family, friends or lovers, driven to kill by an emotion familiar to us all. A deadly force that causes the most unlikely people to snap. A scale exists to measure the darkest corners of human behavior. It weighs the criminal mind and the crime. From impulsive attackers to serial killers, this 22-point scale attempts to determine who are the most evil. Last time on Everest, Team One was caught in a fierce storm at Camp Three. Attempting the summit without oxygen, Danish climber Mons Jensen hit the wall and was forced to retreat. Oh, it's not about this. Against all odds, Tim Medvitz from Hollywood still hasn't surrendered. But high in the death zone, a lethal band of altitude just below the summit, the team's in grave danger when temperatures plummet to minus 40. And eight kilometers up, determination turns to mutiny as summit fever takes hold. I got plenty of oxygen, get me up and back. In Miami, Florida, an extraordinary group of specialists has joined forces. They work at the cutting edge of reconstructive medicine. The team is made up of plastic surgeons, geneticists, neurosurgeons, and psychologists from across the globe. They rebuild the faces and lives of children in need of extreme reconstruction. Everybody has the right to a human face. They are the face makers. From wide ranging backgrounds, the face makers bring together different perspectives on shared problems. This approach, along with the latest surgical advances, has resulted in solutions for some of the rarest craniofacial conditions. A predominant theme in the artistic renaissance that Berlin has experienced over the last decade is the availability of affordable working spaces. Free space in Berlin is seen as an artist's blank canvas. In this complex, even the sides of the building have become an outlet for this creative expression. A thriving art scene has developed in the revitalized Berlin Mitte district. Camden, New Jersey, a bucolic enclave for the rich. In 1991, Camden provided an ideal base for the silver bandit. To Nordahl, silver was more than a commodity that he could turn into cash. It was an obsession. As the robberies piled up, police knew the crimes had a single author, but no matter what they tried, they couldn't catch him. How many more place settings would the silver bandit help himself to before authorities beat him at his own game? 